Paul Salveson, you're a visiting professor at the university, but welcome mm. back. Thank you. Uh, you make many a visit to us. Um, mm. You're here today uh, at the debate about the uh, future uh, of uh, gov British governance, but I know that you're a big advocate yourself uh, of having uh, a northern parliament, parliament of the north. Mm. Um, what are your arguments for that? Why should we have one? Well, I think, first of all, we, we don't use the term parliament because that suggests independence and we, we're not talking about a, a breakaway independent north of England. What we're talking about is regional government for the north, including Yorkshire, the northwest and the northeast. Uh, really, to bring us into line with other parts of the UK, there's a, an enormous amount of devolution within the United Kingdom already, in Scotland, in Wales, Northern Ireland, even in London. London's got a lot of powers that we would die for in the north of England. So what we've got is a rump of England outside London, which is highly centralised, controlled by London, by civil servants in London, but with no power over our own destiny. So it really is about giving power to the north of England to start to address some of the huge imbalances that have been always been there, but they're really widening now as a result of the, of the recession, which is impacting on the north far more severely than parts of London and the southeast. And when you say um, the north, I, I, I'm assuming you mean that the Midlands also should have a, a, a parliament, maybe it may be sort of the southwest. Uh, it, does it go that far? Well, that, that's the logic of it. Uh, you don't have to. If the people of the southwest and the Midlands are quite happy, being sort of marginalised, that's entirely up to them. Uh, they need to make those decisions. We can't speak for the South West or, or the Midlands or the East of England. There's a certain logic in saying if the North of England had its own assembly, it would make sense for the other English regions to have the same. I suspect when they see the positive impact that would have, they probably would want to slice of the action. I think it's fair to say that at the moment there's a stronger groundswell in the north of England and other parts of the English regions, but it is there at the same time. We're in contact with regionalist groups in, in other parts of England. And I think things could start to change very, very rapidly. Scotland, in a way, is acting as the catalyst for all this because it's shaking up people's thinking. It's making them think, well, what is the future of the United Kingdom? Has it got a future? at all and we hope it has but a different sort of future where some of the imbalances within England itself will be addressed by regionalisation. Not having a parliament for England which would only reinforce the enormous power of London and the South East but looking at greater devolution within England. You, you mentioned imbalances a, a bit earlier. Mm -hmm. Um, what are those imbal imbalances? What, what, what examples you know, do you cite for that? Well, m my own professional background, as, as you know, is in transport. And it's interesting that in London, the per capita spend on transport is over £700 per person per year. In the north of England, it's just over 200 So that in itself speaks volumes. And, and nobody begrudges the, the importance of investment in London, it's a major world centre. It is the capital of, of England, and you know it's great to see it prospering. But there's a sense in which that is happening at the expense of the English regions, and a lot of wealth and talent is being drained out of the north and other parts of England, as well as Scotland and Wales, into the great when. But we're not anti-London, and I think sometimes there is a sort of childish anti-South attitude among some people, that's not really reflected at all uh, amongst our members, but we're saying, well, we want fair dues. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.